150 days, 150 psalms, one verse from each psalm daily. Welcome to the place where you learn the Bible. I hope you are all doing well. Greetings to you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Even today we are going to meditate Psalm 103. Psalm 103, the well-known verse, well-known verse, even the familiar song, Bless the Lord, O my soul. And uh, the, these are the, the Psalm 103 verse 1 and 2 or the words that we use at the end of every prayer. Uh, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. In Atmave, Katri, Stotri, and Mululame, or Parasutana, in Tamil, or then in English, but because I am a Tamilian, in Tamil, people say it so quick that I always wonder, do they really mean it? Do they really mean it? And I, and I feel... Uh, if you are, if you don't mean it, it is better not to say it because we say it so quick. People do not know why they are saying it. Uh, I always wonder whether they, they whether they say it in every language. In every language, I'm not sure whether in every culture they say these words as they end their prayer. I do not know it. But anyway, this when we say it, we need to remember the goodness of God. We need to remember the the loving nature of God. And that is what we 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 say this. This reminds us that we should never forget God. We should never forget God. We should never forget uh, the goodness of God. Here, even as this psalmist, even as David says these words, here are a few things that he asks people not to forget, people to remember. Number one. Verse 3, he forgives all our sins. What, when you say, bless the Lord and forget none of his benefits, what are the things that we, we should not forget? He, because he forgives all our sins. Look at the second part of verse 3. He heals all our diseases. Look at the first part of verse 4. He redeems our life from our pit. Uh, look at the second part of verse 4. He crowns us with love and compassion. In verse 5, the first part says, He satisfies us with good with good things. He satisfies our desires with and good with good things. Look at the second part of verse 5. So that our youth is renewed like, like eagles. And the list goes on. And the list goes on. There are there are there are 22 verses. The list goes on. Verse 6, he performs righteous deeds. Verse 7, he makes his ways known. Verse uh, then the second part here. Uh, the acts of God, verse eight, the compassionate and gracious God, um, and and then in, and then he uh, verse ten, he has not dealt with us according to our sins. Verse twelve, he has removed our transgressions. He, the, the the list goes on, and that is why before saying the list, David says, "Forget none of his benefits. Bless the Lord. Forget none of his benefits, dearly beloved." Maybe you say this prayer every day, but just know one thing. If you don't mean it, don't say it. But if you say it, mean it. And when you say, forget none of his benefits. Our Sayyidu Bakarangalai Maravadi. Forget none of his benefits. When you say it, make sure you remember who God is in your life. The forgiving God, the loving God, the compassionate God, the redeeming God. The satisfying God, the strengthening God. And when we can do it, I'll tell you, there is no greater boost when our prayer becomes a praise. Stay blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.